Okay, putting it all together, we are now armed and flying against, excuse me, a Sukhoi 27. He's carrying four R27ERs, which are radar guided, two R27ETs, which are infrared guided that we don't want to have any part of, and two a, uh, R73s. We are carrying six AMRAMs and two Sidewinders. Now, remember, what we're going to do is turn on our radar. It's going to default to uh, uh, RWS, range well scan mode. We're going to go out to 80 miles. Remember also that we're carrying fuel tanks that we want to get rid of. So the engagement is going to go like this. Find him in RWS. Ah, oh, I forgot something. HUD to BVR mode. So we're going to find him in RWS. Switch to track while scan. We're going to lock him up under track while scan. And then we're going to fire. Now hopefully we can do this and have the missile go pit bull before his missiles reach us. Let's see if I can put some speed on the airplane here. We've got it in full afterburner. And there we go. Target locked. And it looks like we're going to get an engagement zone at around, uh, looks like 30 miles. But as we know, that's not going to be an effective missile shot, so I'm going to wait a little kind of pucker up a little bit and wait and uh, get a little closer. The closure rate is really fast. We're at like closing at uh, looks like almost 1200 knots. So we're going to have very little amount of time to, uh, to worry about this stuff here. One thing you can do too is uh, fire an AMRAM at long range, hoping he'll do an evasive, but uh, that's going to be a jab. That's not going to be the missile that kills him. We're going to wait a little bit. Okay, we got a missile incoming. Turn on my ECM. Fox 2. Fox 2. I'm going to turn my beam to the target while keeping the gimbal slewed onto the target. Start pumping chaff. You can also dive if you want to. That's pretty well cranked. Hopefully that means he died. Nope. <sighs> That's bad. missiles hit him. Yes, they did. Okay. I don't know exactly which missile hit, but I don't really need to. I'm going to guess it was probably that last one. It was a sloppy shot, but let's see what he did. He fired, looks like, one, 
two missiles at us? And I'm not smoking, I'm just really high up, and that's a vapor contrail. Kind of curious what actually got him. I guess we'll figure out in tack view. So, one thing I hope you learn from this one is that you obviously want all your missiles to hit, right? And look, I used... I've got two missiles left, which means I fired uh, four of them for one kill. Um, well, sometimes you're going to fire missiles and the, you know they're not going to hit, but it is going to cause the target to react, it's going to cause them to bleed energy, it's going to cause them possibly to lose missile guidance for the one he's trying to track on you. So a lot of times their first AMRAM isn't going to be the one that hits, it might be the second, the third, or the fourth, and that's why they call them the spam ram. But, hey, you know, it's you or them, and uh, if it's me or the other guy, I'm going to go with me every time. Okay, here we are in tact view for our kind of final exam. I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit. Okay, engagement starts about here. That's when I lock my radar onto him. So I fired my AMRAM, it looks like about six seconds before he fired his R-27. Now, that, remember that first AMRAM was not the one that I planned on having it hit. I'm kind of curious here. We're going to probably re rewind this a few times. So I've got the first one here. That's my jab to kind of get him to go evasive. These are the second two which I had hoped would hit. Meanwhile, he's cranked me. He's still getting that missile. But I did a turn. Check this out. So I fired, in keeping my radar locked onto the target, I turned off to the right to decrease our closure rate, which buys time for my AMRAMs to go pit bull before this comes in and smacks me. Now, it's heading out here on an intercept course and is low on energy at this point. And I figure, I don't know if my AMRAMs are going to hit, so I re-engage. Fire my fourth AMRAM, and this first missile that he fired doesn't seem like it has enough energy to reach to compensate for my left-hand turn. So, off it goes. And, of course, I should be dumping a lot more chaff than that. So, he fires missile number two right here. Meanwhile, these three are probably so low on energy, they've got no hope. I fired them at too long of a range. He's pumping shaft like mad. And boom. I killed him before this had a... Oh, that's an ET. Okay, here's the difference here. And this is what makes the Sukhoi quite dangerous if you don't get him at a very long range. This is pretty easy to dodge because you can spoof his radar... By the time it gets out to where you are, it's low on energy, and even a gentle left-hand turn like I demonstrated earlier is going to be enough to throw this bastard off. This is an R-27ET guided by that uh, IRST that the Sukhoi has. This is a fire-and-forget missile, so even though I've killed the target out here, this little guy is autonomous and theoretically could still kill me, although I'm just kind of too far out of range for it to matter at that point. Again, once that missile goes autonomous, if you're if you're done with your engagement, just turn away, and turn and go the other way, and that's what saved me from getting dead by this. Had I gone straight into him, that would have killed me whether I hit him with my AMRAMs or not. So there you go. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of what the limits of the AMRAMs are. See how they're so slow out here? He's done some turns. He's bled them. This one, however, was fired much closer in. It has a lot more energy, inner energy excuse me, to deal with this turn. See, whoosh. Smack. And 
it was fired from uh, looks like 18 miles away These were fired from, what did I say? Uh, what did I say? It was going to be 20, 25 miles. See what a difference a few miles makes. Anyway, you can set up an easy scenario and practice this back and forth. Um, see what works and what doesn't. And whatever happens, I hope, hope this was useful for you. And uh, good luck out there. Happy hunting. And, of course, if you have any uh, suggestions or improvements or things I was totally slack on or omitted or could have done better or other tactics to contribute, certainly uh, put them in the comments. And uh, I love that stuff. So uh, again, thanks so much for watching and I will, I will uh, see you soon.